G'day everyone, this afternoon I've made my way up to Lake William Hovel where I'm going to cast a few lures and see if I can catch a redfin or two. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now the plan here is that I'm going to wade out there and just cast some soft plastics or bladed spinners or whatever I choose to use and just see if I can catch a couple of redfin. Usually when I do this up here the fish are small, although there are the odd, uh, there is the odd nicer redfin in here. But I've got something else I'm experimenting with, check this out. That's my GoPro Hero 10. I've got it on that heavy weight so it sits on the bottom. I've got about 12 foot of cord so that I can leave a float up the top. I'm going to swim out, sink that to the bottom, and then just leave it filming, just to see if anything swims past it in the next hour or so. I was going to use fishing line in case the, uh, just in case the cable ended up dangling in front of the, the camera, but I was just a bit worried the fishing line might not be strong enough. So I've tied it at the back like that in the hope that it floats up the back. This may not work, it may not even land the right way up. But anyway, let's go and put it in and find out and then go and see if we can catch a redfin. The water's nice. I've never seen a leech in Lake William Hovel. Insane that I've never seen one in Lake Buffalo either until a couple of years ago. Righto, let's try it here. Is it going to sink the right way? Oh, I've got to turn it on first. I can't touch the bottom. I'm treading water. Right. I'm treading water. I might just point that up a little bit. A bit of an upward trajectory. Hopefully this all works. There's the bottle out there. I'll give it an hour, hour twenty, to see if anything just randomly swims past. Well, the camera's been submerged for an hour. I was going to give it a bit longer, but the fishing's dead. I've walked right along the bank here, casting soft plastics and bladed spinners. Haven't had a follow, haven't had a touch, nothing at all. I hope the uh, GoPro has seen more fish than what I have. <laughs> There's the cord over there. The camera's over there. The uh, the wind's been blowing the bottle around a bit by the looks of it. I think it might have landed upright. Let me go check it out, eh? That tapping sound you can hear, that's just air bubbles being released from the weight underneath the camera. Now look at all the debris, all of the mud and the slime and stuff that's been stirred up. I reckon that attracts the fish because just one minute and nine seconds after the camera hit the bottom, we had our first curious onlooker. That was it for a little while. We didn't see our second fish for another six minutes until the seven minute and 25 second mark. dum de dum de dum this second fish just swims by randomly. You'll notice now that that popping sound has stopped. All the air must have escaped from the weight under the camera, and the water's a lot clearer now. Everything is settled. Let's fast forward another 7 minutes to the 14 minute and 18 second mark before our next red fin turns up. This next fish swims in from the centre of the screen and finds himself a snack. He finds something to eat right in front of the camera. I'm not sure what it is he's eating though. Well that was it, no more fish swam past the camera. 
Worth noting was that all of these fish swam past in the first 20 minutes after I lowered the camera down and stirred the mud up. The following 40 minutes from this point, I didn't see a single fish. There's something in that. And what I've taken from this footage is that next time I go fishing from a boat, I'm going to be lifting the anchor and dropping it back down every 20 minutes or so just to stir up that mud because I reckon that could attract the fish. I'm going to try and do this experiment again soon and I'm going to try and aim for a sunnier day when the light might be a little bit better. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've found this entertaining. I think it might have landed up there. Right? I'm going to check it out, eh?